Hello, and uh, welcome back to another episode in Mountain Blade 2, uh, Bannerlord. I just gonna turn the volume a bit. I talk here. Um, I have been doing some testing, and I think you should do this too if you're curious for well, what faction in Bannerlord that really fits you. Uh, at this point of the version 1.6.5, it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 different factions you can choose between. And all of them are excellent factions in their own way. Uh, but uh, since I failed a, a lot, I would say, um, in my last playthrough for ben Bannerlord, I was playing the Crusade faction. And I was trying to to really play at their advantages which, and culture, which is at horseback, of course, uh, and really rely on the horse archers. That didn't go very well later in the game. Uh, and in big battles, it is actually the infantry that... Uh, that do the heavy work and really can win the big battles for you. So you need the best infantry in your army. So I have done some testing. I have done like this. I have put the army sizes at 100 and 101. There we go. Because you are a commander in the custom battles. So we have to... Uh, just put you in there as well There we go 101 against 101 uh, Infantry units and just do like this now we have a hundred units on both sides. I have also uh, Tested I, I, I've only tested with the highest tier uh, like the uh, crusade dark in here uh, against the uh, Imperial legionaries and I this is a spoiler alert, but but I Must say that I'm really impressed by the Imperial legionaries with they have the one handed skill at 130 that's that's all right. That's the best uh, I think that's the best one handed skill for troops or units in the this game and they have pole arm at 130. That that's a bit weird one because they have a pylum, a throwing um, spear, and after they have thrown that, they have no uh, pole arm left. And they have athletics at uh, 130 and a throwing at 80. So the throwing spear, it's it's a very heavy spear. So if you hit uh, an opponent with that spear, they they will die. Uh, deal very high damage but if you hit a shield uh, then it's a waste but you deal very much damage to the shield though so that's the legionaries and they have a ton of armor good armor uh, and have tested some different uh, battlefields too doesn't matter really what battlefield I have chosen uh, the outcome was the same and also up here I have chosen to be the defender and I also have chosen to be the attacker that was a bit different but uh, when I played with only infantry no archers the outcome was the same in every battle so I have tested how many t uh, battles I've tested I'm not sure but a lot I tested everything every possible um, yeah, uh, every possible altern alternative here. So I have tested uh, the Crusades, I have tested uh, the Batanians against the Empire, the Batanians against uh, the Crusades, the Batanians against the uh, Azerites, and every possible thing you can think of. I have tested it all, and I have come to a conclusion. Uh, and I'm just gonna... Uh, go into a fight here uh, with one unit I really thought was a very very strong one 
it's exactly the same as the Imperial Legionaries, uh, the Vlandian Surgeons. They have the 100 skill at 130, just like the uh, Legionaries. They have the polearm at 130, but I'm not sure if they have a throwing spear. I think that actually is a polearm. And then they have the Athletics at 130, just like the Legionaries. They have a bit different armor, and I think that is what they, uh, makes the difference here. So let's gonna we just just gonna jump in. I just gonna change my com commander here for a Vlandian commander. Uh, where are you? A Vla th there we go. That's a Vlandian commander against a yeah against a emperor empire commander, and now. 100 against 100 uh, Imperial Legionaries there, and I have 100 Vlandian Surgeons. And I will be the defender for this fight, so let's just jump into this fight, and I'm gonna show you what happens. So, this is the core for your, um, for your army, uh, the infantry. They look beautiful. When all look the same, they are just beautiful too. Uh, I really like that. Everyone have the same uniform, and yeah, it I it takes me back to a movie where I watch uh, a Roman uh, movie. Maybe everyone have the same armor. Everyone have the same uniform, and it's swords. It's, well, it's everything you can ask for <laughs> in a medieval movie. So here we go. I have the uh, advantage here, I would say, with the uh, uh, best position here. Uh, as you can see here, they have different weapons. Some of them have swords. Some of them have uh, maces. That's going to play a big difference. I think I would pick mace. If I'm gonna fa face the uh, legionaries, here they come, here they come. So I'm just gonna put myself a bit behind here. And I made a shield wall. And they have not shield wall, I think they have line formation. And now I'm just gonna charge them and see what happens. I'm still at shield wall here. And <laughs> look at the kill count here. They just get smashed. Well, I have some kills. I have, well, I have 16 kills, 21, and then suddenly something happens and everyone dies here. The legionaries just crush me. Well, I have lost 80. He have lost 28. I would say that's a very. Uh, big difference and of course I'm a badass at fighting <laughs> it's not just joking uh, yeah th there we go so th there you see how strong the uh, infantry uh, from the Empire is against the top tier um, infantry from the Vlandians um, I'm just gonna show you the acid rise while we are testing so I will be the defender this time too. They have a bit different infantry with throwing weapons, and they have—I think they have a stack of. Uh, yeah, they have four, uh, four uh, javelins, so they can throw. The thing is that will not help very much because the inf uh, the uh, legionaries have shields, so they can just shield themselves and. Um, they will reach me before I will be able to kill anyone, I think. So I'm just gonna uh, play the same position here as the Vlandian sergeants. And I'm gonna show you how this will go. I'm gonna go with the. Uh, I'm not gonna bother with the uh, shield wall. If they decide to throw weapons at me, maybe I will do that, but. Uh, I think they are ready here with the throwing weapons, so I'm just gonna go with that. 
Okay, so here they come. Here they throw some weapons. Uh, javelins. As you can hear, everyone hit the, the shields there. No kill. Oh, actually, one kill there. Okay, I got some kills, and now I'm gonna charge them. So, see what happens here. I think it's pretty similar to what happened to the Blandian Sergeant. Now, I'm just gonna go a bit close to see what actually is happening here. If we can see that. Uh, I really can't see what happens. Uh, they are just smashed. Every legionaries have no, no, not everyone. Some of them have maces. I can see that actually. So this battle's over. Just gonna end it there. Uh, yeah, it wasn't that big of a defeat like the Vlandian sergeants actually, but uh, the conclusion here is that if you fight infantry against infantry. Uh, the Imperial uh, Legionaries are unbeatable. No, uh, no infantry can beat them. I have tried uh, with a mix of infantry because they have some shock troops to the SRIs, for instance, the Mamluk Palace Guard, and also the Sturgeons have some great uh, shock troops. Uh, like with the uh, uh, Sturgeon Heroic Line Breakers, they're great. Uh, didn't help. Uh, <laughs> didn't help a bit. And I've tested with the Sturgeon Heavy Spearmen, which have no throwing weapons. And I've tested with the Sturgeon Heavy X-Men. Didn't mean a difference. The Legionaries just smashed them too. Uh, the Batanians, that was the worst scenario. Ever. I think I killed nine uh, Imperial Legionaries and then I they killed the rest of my troops. So this might be the worst infantry in the game. If you're gonna fight infantry against infantry, that's it that's an important important um, um, thing here because when I added some um, some archers into the game it really changed everything so when I took for instance uh, all uh, half and half uh, 50 archers 50 infantry then I was able to crush the Empire again uh, especially with the battalion Fian champions then I won very easy then suddenly the battalions is the best units uh, as a army but when I fought the uh, and I played as a attacker or defender doesn't matter actually uh, I was able to outplay the AI uh, with the Imperial Legionaries and the Palatine Guards and I won also with the Batanian Fian Champions and the uh, uh, yeah, the battalions. Uh, the thing is that the AI, when they are facing archers, they do something really stupid. They run very far, they start shooting when they are, I would say, v too close to you. So that I will lose very many troops just to get into position. And then they have lost a ton of morale because I have got some kills. Um, and then I can press on with my infantry and crush the rest of the remaining troops that, that way. And then put my archers to the flank and deal some covering fire. So then I win very easy every time. Defender or attacker, doesn't matter, I win every time. So that's the stupidity of the um, AI. But I won more easily with the Batanian Fians when I added the archers than with the um, uh, Palatine Guards. So then the infantry didn't matter that much, but the mix of those made it a, a very good army. So it's not a bad army with the Palatine Guards and the Imperial Legionaries, 
but the battalion fiends i think th that there might be the best units in the game and then the imperial legionaries comes on the second place so um yeah i tested this and i feel that i i'm able to rank um uh, what units uh, not what units but it's the best but infantry units at the top tier i am sure who is the best um i'm not sure about the other ones they were pretty close actually but no one was able to beat the imperial legionaries and i, I think that's pretty interesting because now that i want to play uh kingdom playthrough i, I really want to do as few mistakes as possible to yeah to be as strong as possible so when i have the best infantry in the game i have a very good um, advantage over the opponent and this having this infantry is the best in the game i can assure you yeah, now then i'm just gonna go in and check um uh, do a fight while i talk here I'm going to well let's see then because if you are fighting um, or playing uh, a faction you you start let's see you fa uh, start as a sudden empire oh, you can't start the some sudden empire you start this empire Th then you have a border uh, to the northern empire which is the southern empire and also Western and Azerites and the Crusades. So you, you, your most common enemies will be the Crusades, the Azerites and the... Uh, well, also the Sturgeons, actually, up north. The Vlandians, not that much, but the Vlandians, uh, they really focus not that... Well... <laughs> I think they were, they look look so cool uh, the Vlandian sergeants, but they are not that good. Th that's the problem. So I'm I'm just gonna check that now. Um, who the Vlandians will most likely fight the Batanians. They fight that all the time, and I'm gonna show you how this will go. Uh, I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm I'm just gonna let you see what happens. So. The Batanian Wildling, I think that's probably a bit better uh, unit, especially against the uh, Blendian Sergeants. So let's just see what happens. Uh, and it's not common in Bannelord to have oh, only my. infantry, of course. So this will change uh, when you start to play. But I, this is a video where I show you... Uh, the possibly best infantry in the game uh, and and also uh, yeah we have these guys they have long spears pole arms and Soldier, of course they don't forward. use that against the infantry they use that against cavalry so they have a bit more uh, specialized uh, jobs I would say um, dealing with the infantry and also they have good one-handed skills so they should be able to deal with uh, the um, infantry too and I look extremely cool so they should do better than they actually are here they come the battalions I think actually they are uh, look pretty similar they have the same weapons At them! The Vlandians have no throwing weapons. But look here, what happens. And this is maybe why you see often that the Vlandians are crushing the Vitanians. <laughs> Did you see the kill count here? Um, I've killed 94, he have killed 15. This is the top tier troops of both factions. I would say this is a huge difference and you might think well battalion 
Wildling isn't the best units. Okay, let's check about the Oathsworn units. What happens then? Uh, and, and I I would think that if the Batanians didn't have the Batanian Fiends to, to defend them with, uh, they would be Move extremely out. weak. Uh, as a faction and I think actually that they are the weakest faction the cavalry units They only have light cavalry um, Which is not that good and as you can see here why they I kill them that fast is that these guys have good weapons and the battalions don't have good armor so that, that's why they lose very fast. So I'm going to check this. I'm not sure if I've tested the Vlandian ser sergeants against the Oatsworn actually. What I have tested is the Imperial Legionaries against everyone. And it was a disaster. The Legionaries won every time. I am the defender now. Uh, I can change that to see if there's any difference, but I, I, I really don't think so. so let's attack. Let's see what happens here. I'm pretty sure this will be almost the same as before. Yep, the kill count from the enemy is rising heavily. So the old one actually have some throwing weapons, but they're not using that for the reasons. Uh, it was a bit closer, but uh, well, the Vlandian ser sergeants won pretty easy. And this is because of the weak armor the Batanians have. I, I really don't see why they gave the Batanians this weak armor. Uh, they should give them some other advantage than higher athletics, um, maybe better weapons. Uh, they're just too weak at the moment. And we also have the um, <laughs> the Crusades. The Crusades will most likely face the Azerai. Uh, so I'm going to show you how that goes. If you have a hundred. Azerai veteran infantry against a hundred veteran uh, hundred crusade Darkan is the is the name for the um, top tier infantry for the crusades. They look extremely cool too. Like every top tier unit looks in this game. Um, yeah, and they have they are holding their spear, throwing a spear in their hand at the moment because they have one throwing spear just like the imperial legionary but this spear i think this spear will deal more damage actually if they can hit the target so we're gonna look if they can get some uh, kills before they have to start using their main weapon which is the sword here everyone have swords i think Think. Yeah, I think everyone have swords. A saber, I think. So now we are fighting the uh, the Aserais, which have a bigger stack of throwing weapons than we have. Let's see how that goes. And they're moving a bit slow here. I think they will. Maybe they will move in shield wall. I'm not sure. And uh, my, my favorite units, just because they look that cool, is the Sturgeons. Uh, and they are not that good either. The Legionaries are really superior in this game. Look here now. This should deal a ton of damage to the shields. And if they can hit the target, a ton of damage to them. No kills. And now we charge right into them and I can see the problem here why we are losing if we are losing here uh, I can see a lot of 
Oh, we are winning actually. No. Yeah, we are actually winning over them. That was a bit surprising actually. But what I saw that was many Darken was using the trust ability for the, the swords. So I, I made a kill there, but that's... Okay. <laughs> Crack. Okay, he needs to die. Can't reach him. Okay, uh, we won actually, so I, that was a bit surprising. I was really sure that the uh, Azerai would crush me. This 66 again. I have 35 alive. You have 15 alive. Okay, let's change that uh, so you can see if there's any difference if I attack or defend. Um, but I think the Darken is a bit weaker than the uh, Azerai units, though. This time I will attack. Let's see if that's makes any difference so I have found the best infantry units uh, that's what I'm trying to say with this video um, After me. but this is only infantry against infantry so I know that you might say yeah but in the whole big picture uh, there might be different and you're absolutely correct uh, you are able to change the outcome of the fighting uh, by having different troops in your army, having different balance with archers, cavalry, and Batman. horse archers. Boom. So it doesn't really matter what infantry you have if you have a good balance with archers and cavalry. But it really helps to have the best uh, infantry in the game. And the best units is the, um, the legionaries. Okay, they are taking position there with a shield wall, I think. Yep, they are doing that. So let's see if this changes anything. I will just attack like they did. Just ru rush into them. Um, just gonna first make them go to a line, and then I'm gonna advance, and then, and then uh, fight them, charge them. So they should have the worst shield wall in the game. The dark end. They have the smallest shield. Oh, <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> Oh my god! What is going on? <laughs> Holy crap! Well, that was really something. That was actually brutal. And if you p uh, press the X button, if you hold, if you're holding a big uh, spear, you can uh, brace. Brace, it's called? I think so. Here you can see how even, evenly matched they are. I'm not sure what the outcome will be here, actually. Looks like you... You've got the best morale. Wins. Okay, he, he got me there. Uh, I think actually I... Just gonna see how, how this goes actually. We won actually, alright, so but this was much more even. Evenly matched. So maybe they are Depends. They got in some very good kills, the Darkens, at the start there with their throwing spears. So, uh yeah, what am I actually trying to say here to you? I'm okay, I, I will test uh fight with the sturgeons to just to involve them too and I, I want to do something different I want to send the battalions the battalions and the sturgeons are uh, most likely to face each other in um, 
a campaign. So I will try to do this. Stay close. And they are beautiful looking soldiers, these two. Uh, now we have the spear infantry uh, against the spear infantry from two different factions. And that's pretty interesting too. So you can see how they deal with each other and if it's wise to add something different into your infantry armies. Uh, the, the answer to that is you should do that. You should have a bit more balanced army uh, than having a full army with the same troop. That's not a good idea. It will look very cool on the battlefield, but uh, it's not really a good idea. Oh, they, they are coming here. Let's charge. Let's just send them into each other and see what happens. I'm really not sure what happened here, but I have, if I have to say, if I have to put my money on someone, I would put the money on, Stur on the Sturgeons because of the armors. Yeah, and I think we are winning pretty... Yeah, we are winning here. So, it's a good margin to margin. 40 dead of mine, and we have killed 92. So there we go. I think the battalions have the weakest infantry units in the game. That's what I can say about after this. Uh, the best all-round units is definitely the Empire. They also have good archers, so the archers is good too, but the infantry is insane. <laughs> they are just insane. Uh, the Sturgeon's Heavy Spearmen have a one-handed skill at 140 and a polearm 142. Athletics 125. Okay. I'm gonna go with that fight too. Last fight. and just gonna show you what happens here. Because you should think that, yeah, we have better skills. We have bigger shields. Uh, we should win, right? And I really thought that too. Uh, I thought that big shields and uh, good skill would be win some battles. <laughs> What's really true is uh, in this game, if you have the better armor, you have the advantage. I think it's as simple as that. If you have, I think... I think they have the legionary armor of some sort from the Empire. Uh, and, and it's insane. It's very, very good. And it, they will protect them very much. Especially if you trust your we weapon against them. Doesn't matter. And they have good weapons too. The... Uh, the... Um, legionaries. So if I if I could pick a uh, infantry that could uh, really if I thought an infantry could really deal with the um, the uh, legionaries I really thought it was the uh, sturgeons but look here what happens they have the excellent shield wall now let's see whoa. Okay, this was not bad. Uh, okay. They're, they're facing me. That, that was not supposed to happen. Oh. <laughs> Crap. Help me, guys. I have someone on, on my tail here. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, look at that. Look at that massacre here we, we have just witnessed. We have killed 22. They have killed almost everyone. Power. So, I think this just shows how strong the Im Imperials are, the infantry at least. So, what I could say about this is that the infantry from the Empire is just superior. It's really good. Um, so, if you are going to make a big, big army and for late game playing, 
go with the infantry from the Empire. Th that's the best infantry in the game. Uh, in the next episode, just like this, I want to look at the archers. And then I'm gonna focus the cavalry in the next after that. And then I have to see about the horse archers. I don't think the battalions really ha have horse archers. So, uh, I think that's the only faction. And the Vlandians too, don't have horse archers. So, they are left out from that. But the other ones have. Um... No, not the Sturgeons either. It's actually just three factions that have horse archers. Okay, that would be a short episode though. But, okay. So after I have looked at all different specialized units and put them up at each other from the factions, I want to mix the troops, uh, infantry and archer, and then... I will have some infantry and cavalry, infantry and horse archers and all that. Mix it to check what is actually the best faction. Who have the best troops? This is what I'm trying to find out. So join me for the next episode and find out what archers you should pick for your army. So, well... Hang on for the next episode and find out who have the best archers in Bannerlord 2. So, thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one. Take care. Bye-bye.